Hi, welcome to Streaming Stories Spotlight. I'm Beth, I'm one of the adult services librarians at the Rocky River Public Library. Hi, I'm Mary Morielli, and I am a library associate with adult services at Rocky River Library. Welcome. Thanks for coming uh, to talk to me today, Mary. I am excited to uh, kind of introduce our new Streaming story Spotlight. Every month we are going to talk uh, just briefly about a movie that is available through one of our streaming services that you can access with the library. So this month we are going to talk about the stories we tell. So the stories we tell is a 2012 Canadian documentary that was directed by Sarah Foley. Um, this particular film premiered at the Venice International Film Festival in 2012, and it also played at the Telluride Film Festival and the Toronto International Film Festival. Uh, interestingly, interestingly enough, in 2015, it was added to the Toronto International Film Festival's list of top 10 Canadian films of all time. It's a good one. That is quite a list of accolades. That's impressive. So we decided to go along with this movie, or choose this movie this month to start off our streaming story spotlight because we're headed into summer reading and our theme is imagine our, your, imagine your story. So we're really just kind of, you know, that can be a really broad theme. And so we're going to share different stories. And this particular documentary is about a story that uh, this family tells. And it's actually about Sarah Poli and her whole family and a secret that their whole family lives with. And, you know, some of them realize that the secret exists and some of them don't find out for a long time. And uh, that's the, the gist of it that I can share without really providing any spoilers. Agree. It's quite a secret. Um, and it's intimate. It's wonderful. Um, I agree. It's quite a secret. Definitely. Uh, I did read somewhere that you should go into the film. Um, try and go in as blind as you can. Uh, we're, we're not gonna, there's not gonna be any spoilers here. We're just enc encouraging you to watch it. Uh, one thing that I thought was interesting was uh, that the secret involves, you know, Sarah's perspective of this family secret, but also her father's perspective of the family secret. And he kind of can share his perspective before he knew the secret. And then once he knows the, tr the truth has come out and he's living with it. So I thought that that was really very compelling and very beautifully written. He, the secret, like once he learned the secret, it, he managed to, he said that it kind of set him creatively free. And I thought that was really interesting that that affected him that way. I agree, Beth. I found him very moving. I found their storytelling to be very compelling and moving. Um, what really moved me about the story was that uh, Sarah Foley, the director, has a group of people that she interviews for this story, most, most of them being her family, but then also an intimate group of friends. And each person brings their own story to this one truth. And so you can look at it and say that their story changes the truth. Um, it doesn't necessarily change the truth, but it highlights their story and how that truth affected their lives. And their story is as significant as anyone else's story. So I really appreciated the fact that the stories were layered. Which uh, kind of was interesting because there's a moment that strikes me when you're mentioning one of the intimate friends that was involved in the interviews, how disheartened that he was that other people's layers or their versions of the story were kind of even included in the story, which I would, you know, I, I found to be kind of striking in that. I agree with you. And so that was actually one of my drawbacks, not, not a very significant drawback, but there is many, um, not many, but there is a pretty good sized group of people telling the stories. And obviously there's, you can't, the film can't go on forever. Um, so I do feel that some stories we needed to hear more. And, and, because, and I feel that the people who were telling them wanted to share more, um, that one gentleman that I think you're referring to in particular. Um, and I also feel that since their stories were, short, were cut short, 
then I didn't feel as connected to those people as, as maybe I should have. Yeah. It, uh, it offered so much perspective. And then for a documentary that the, I'd say the one drawback for me was it took me a little bit of time to get into the documentary. It was kind of slow as it unrolled. And, but by the end I was, I was very interested in then kind of pulling apart the story. Um, but one drawback for me was, was the slow start. But um, I agree with you, Beth, that at times it did seem a bit slow. Yeah. But overall, I mean, it taught, it, you know, everyone has their own story. And so I think that that was just a, a really neat way for us to go ahead and kick off the streaming story spotlight. And thank you so much for joining me, Mary. Next month, uh, I think we're going to go ahead and focus on something that might be, that is uh, an important story that needs to be told and talked about. And we need to have these conversations. And we are going to focus on the documentary called I'm Not Your Negro. And it is a documentary from 2016 based on, uh, I might, or I might screw this up, it's directed by Raoul Peck. And it's based on James Baldwin's unfinished manuscripts of uh, Remember This House. And it's narrated by Samuel L. Jackson. So I would like to invite you all to watch that with us uh, this, this month, this coming month. And look out mid-July, we'll be dropping another video to discuss on that Your Negro. And uh, so thank so you. So Beth, I, I had the pleasure of already watching that film. And yes. it's, it's fantastic. It's a must-see. I Everybody... Uh, I think you will learn so much, and it's 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 an absolute must see. And I will actually be watching it again. Excellent. Well, thank you for the suggestion, Mary, and thanks for taking the time to talk to me today. And uh, thank you to all of you for joining us. So have a great day. Thanks, Beth. Everybody have a great day. Thanks, Mary. <laughs>